everyone, it's Casey, editor of GoBankingRates.com. It's no secret that I am a serious procrastinator, so of course that means I haven't done my taxes yet. But I figure I can't be the only person who hasn't done my taxes, so I'm going to walk you guys through the tax form for my home state of California so we can finally finish up and get our taxes filed on time. Now the California tax form is called the 540. And like the federal form 1040, there are several versions you can pick from depending on the complexity of your tax situation. You can find all of the tax forms and publications that you'll need to complete your taxes at the State of California Franchise Tax Board website. Or you can just go to your local post office or library and pick up a hard copy for yourself. Now today I'm going to go over just the regular form 540 since that's what most of you will be completing this year. Here are the things that you'll need to have in front of you in order to fill out your 540 form. First, you'll need your W-2. Secondly, any additional forms or statements you've received in the mail, like your 1099. If you've already done your federal taxes, it's helpful to have your 1040 on hand as well. And finally, have the tax table in front of you as reference. Once you have all of these documents in front of you, you can transfer the appropriate numbers to the corresponding lines on your 540. Now when it comes to actually filing your taxes, e-filing is almost always the best way to go. Not only are your taxes going to be received and processed faster, so you hopefully get that refund sooner, but the post office gets crazy around April and you might as well save yourself a stamp and some time by just filing online. And yes, it is possible to e-file your state taxes for free. We recently published an article on GoBankingRates.com that breaks it all down for you, so visit the link in the box below to learn more. So now that you know how to get your state taxes done, let's stop putting it off any longer and get them in today.